Community is one of the most effective tools that you can use in your business. What's up, Flowchat fam and sales centers? Hey, listen, today's episode, you don't want to miss our fellow Flowchat member that's talking with us today is making huge, huge waves and ripples and all kind of disruption when it comes to community. And we want to listen to why community matters for our business. It makes us irresistible. It makes us irreplaceable. And we need to stand out in today's market because it's noisier than ever. And today's guest is going to uh, lead us that direction. Plus, there's one really, really big hook. We get to talk about different markets and how that compares to ours. Sometimes when we look at things from a different perspective, we get we get fresh answers, fresh ideas, and it gives us the momentum that we need in our business. We get to talk about that today. And it's with Anthony. Anthony, Hi. thanks for joining us. <laughs> hey, my pleasure. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you so much. We were talking just before uh, getting started. And Anthony has been all over the world. And one of those places is France. Uh, how long do you live in, in France, Anthony? So I live in France for 22 years. Uh, 22 years and uh, yeah after i just travel like changing the country like every single month for two and three years and i moved to canada like three years ago to open a new startup and now i'm, I'm in uh, toronto and you're in toronto area being all these places is like france still home to you or do you like are you does toronto feel like home or uh, the world feel home <laughs> to be honest <laughs> <laughs> the whole world feels like home. the world is yeah, your home. Exactly. That is my favorite answer, my friend. I actually <laughs> really like that answer. Okay, cool. Well, so that's where Sir Anthony's uh, from. He's been traveling. Let's get right into it. Uh, one of your superpowers that I'm really excited for everyone to, to hear, listen, and, and benefit from, and thank you so much for spending your time to contribute to others in our community, is sure. is just that. It's community. And you, you, you're you really good at doing that through content. So how did you kind of start going the content and community route? So I... I start like to create like some video content uh, like almost 10 years ago now. And I was just sharing like what I did in my life at this time. I was meeting like different coach, learning on myself, different skills, different things. So I just share the result I have. And year after year, like I built a pretty strong community in, uh, in France. And uh, it showed me what is the importance of community. And uh, the things I, I, I like to say now, it's, when, for example, I create an offer, a sales page, for example, for mm. a product, whatever, I don't really need to be too pushy or use like trick marketing and different things like this because I don't need to convince people because every day I try to create good content and to give a, a lot of value. And, you know, uh, there is a, a lot of people like they, they create a business and they start to, they ask directly. They ask for the money, they ask yes. something. <laughs> but uh, the thing is, uh, if you are able to and ready to share, 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 and share like what you want, different knowledge, different things, like you, you don't need to convince after people. It's much easier. And actually, uh, your, conversion, uh, your conversion rate on your sales page, for example, going to be much higher compared than someone not going to share like any content because you are not a stranger for people anymore. They know you. Maybe they, 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 they watch a video, they listen to a podcast, they read a, a book, whatever, but uh, it's totally different. And... Um, for me, in my perspective today, like every business can create content. Every mm. business. It can be the hair holistic salon in my uh, on the street, like just here. It can be like every business can create content. And it's like attract naturally like customers. And it's a really, really, really good way to promote yourself, your business or whatever you want. Yeah. Just to let people get to know you. And so, it, and, and how, like, how do you start creating community around content what's been working for you so uh for example when you do a live uh you answer directly to the people when you organize like different meeting it can be a conference you can have for example a mastermind before i have a pretty big like forum uh, now the forum is pretty hand with uh, social media and stuff but yeah different things like this and just like keep in touch with with people like just uh, uh send an email every week say hey this is what I'm doing now. This is the new video I, I, I create for you. This is uh, an interview. Or this is a podcast for you. You know, keep in touch with people and continue to mm. like, like share like everything you, 
it was in Uganda. I see. So it's it's that sharing, uh, the mastermind, uh, doing like Q and A's, lives, ask me anything type stuff. Where that's where you're getting interaction and in, in connection and building relationship. And obviously, people are consuming, getting to know, know and like and trust you. So uh, you've you've obviously put this. You're you're saying these things, but they're not just words because you put this to action in your your own business. And uh, I know you have a YouTube channel with almost two hundred thousand subscribers already. Uh, can we just yeah. walk through that? And and so yeah, people, yeah. I'd love to go into a little bit more detail so people can hear kind of your thought process and and how this pertains and everyone listening like hey hang hang with us because not only are we going to get some insights here but we're going to start comparing the french and the u.s market so we're going to find trends that are working in other markets i don't know if you guys ever listen to jay abraham but one of his superpowers is always listening to different business maybe it's the same business but in a different market you get all new insights and so like th- i'm really excited to have this on conversation on the spot i'm going to pull up a screen here so we all can see this together this is anthony's youtube channel you can see almost uh 200 000 subscribers that's awesome congratulations getting that first hundred getting the first thousand that alone hundred thousand is really a huge huge feat if you're not familiar with youtube uh watching this but w- walk us through this yeah so the, the first uh, thing i want to share is when you're gonna start to create a video you are not comfortable and this is normal you're gonna feel really bad like it's really difficult to like have a camera and record yourself because it's difficult to see yourself it's 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 not normal so um (laughs) i'm glad you said that because it doesn't feel normal (laughs) yeah exactly so when, when i start like my first video was was bad was really bad like nobody watched my 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 first uh maybe 100 video and uh like i just continue and one day you know I just take my camera and every day I was like outside on the street and speaking to my camera, not to put the video online, you know, just to practice. Mm. Because me, my goal, it was to be like really impactful behind the camera, like share some emotion. And I know if someone uh. watched my video and received some emotion, he want to like, this is, is touched with the video and he want to share with other people too because he, he feel a really good like emotion and th- this is not something easy to do it's like practice and practice but the thing is on your market on your business whatever um there is a the, the good thing to start starting to like look like what people ask what, what kind of questions they ask so for example you can go on keyword research uh, the the, the the, the tool uh, from Google, for example, you're going to see a lot of different keywords on your industry. And it's a, it's a good way to start to say, oh, okay, so people, my customer in my industry, they ask about this, 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 and this question. So maybe I can start to create content on this, uh, this area. And after, like, um, on YouTube, the, go- the good thing is to watch, like, what's, what's, work, what's working well. So I... Uh, I, I take a lot of inspiration too on a, on a lot of YouTubers, on a lot of video. I try to uh, look around, like, and um, when I feel really inspired about something, I try to yeah. do like many experiences in my life, um, and uh, I just share my experience. I share like, uh, yeah, the different things I do, and, and the you need to be really be like yourself if you want to say something, just say it. Uh, don't control yourself because there is only one. Mm, don't control yourself. yourself. That's good. Exactly. So, like, uh, there is only one you. So, when someone gonna watch your video, if he you feel your personality, your character, <coughs> gonna be more able to subscribe to your channel because there is not like thousand people like you around. Uh, you are like specific, and and I know it's it's not easy to transcribe this authenticity. Uh, just behind a camera, but uh, this is something that yeah I, I try to really practice and continue. I love this. Okay, so that gives us clarity on creating content, being genuine, uh, like not holding back, so people have you know the unique you to connect to, which has continued to prove itself effective over and over again. Here's the big question: 168,000 subscribers, probably a lot of you know. Uh, I mean, you're getting 60,000, 120,000 views, 40,000 views, 42,000 views, ton, like hun- tens and hundreds of thousands of people are viewing your videos, daily, weekly, monthly. Um, how? how do you start having a sales conversation? Like at what, you know what I mean? They're watching, they're consuming. What's your sales process using this content tool? So the things is, and this is a really good things because 
Um, so many people like ask me this couple like last year, but why you don't talk about your product on your video? Why? I, I watched like so many of your videos and maybe I heard like two or three times your product. Yeah. And the thing is on, on my video, usually on the description, I'm, I'm going to put a link. Um, and sometime at the end of the video, I'm going to say like, okay, I have this and this, but I don't really push people to click because naturally they're going to click on it. And if, for example, I create a video to say, oh, this is my new uh, training, blah, blah, blah. This, vid this video is not going to work because people don't care. Like, you know what I mean? But yeah. If I put a video with a really great knowledge and there is at the end of the video, I'd say, okay, if you want to know more about this subject, there is a link on the description, just click on it. And this is usually what I do and it's worked like really well because there is a percentage of the viewer automatically gonna click on, the, for example, here there is my new platform, vidang.com. Um, and yeah, people are gonna click on the on the link to know more about yourself. Especially if they like the video and they like the content, they want more like from you. So automatically, like they're gonna uh, they yeah, just they just the start video. looking naturally. So exactly. so it's just lead, yeah. leading with good value, leading with the right emotion, and and letting them click in their own time. I love it. Uh, it's really really effective. And I know. Okay, so that's great for YouTube, but I know you're not just using YouTube. And so I have your Instagram uh, channel here or page, and uh, this one's growing like very, really quickly because you have over 133,000 followers, uh, but this was all built within the last 10 months. So um, yeah, take us yeah. behind the curtain. How are you able to grow this one so quickly? Yeah, exactly. So this uh, account, it's for a marketplace we launched like 10 months ago in, uh, in France. Um, so we try to like same thing, like create a community. And the thing you need to ask yourself for a community, it's what is the best platform for you? Maybe it's YouTube, but maybe not. Maybe it's LinkedIn, mm. maybe not. Maybe it's Instagram, maybe not. And for example, for this marketplace, this marketplace, it's about spiritual services. And we just realized like Instagram was the best spot for, for us. So we yeah. create this, uh, we How did you find that, by the way? How did you, uh, like, you just test it all? And then what, what, did, like, what indicator did you see where you're like, ooh, this is going to be the most successful. Now I'm going to go here. So for me, a really good indicator is to look uh, the, uh, different accounts on the same industry and they have a pretty good result. If I'm not able to find one person on my industry have a pretty good result on the platform I want to go, this is a no-go. Mm, and okay. for example, on, the, on this pit. Uh, particular industry, uh, the, the spirituality, we find like a lot of English account on this uh, on this industry. So it was okay. So you, like you're searching hashtags or something, or exactly. you're searching accounts and pages and groups exactly. on all the platforms, and you're like, oh, it looks like there's a lot of this type of content on this platform. It's probably a good platform. Exactly. This is. This, mm. yeah, exactly. See, now I think that's really key for everyone to hear. Oh, it's not like, oh, there's no one's doing this here. I'm going to be the one to lead the charge. You're, you're like the, the opposite thinking. You're like, wait, wait, if no one wants this content here, then, you know, like, I don't want to go here. And I think that's really important. Some people run away from competition, um, but like yeah. leaning into it shows that there's actually a market there. It's really yeah, good. Exactly. So the, the second step it's to, uh, for example, if you scroll a bit the page, it's yeah. to have a, a really strong strat strategy about how my content gonna be different from like other page for example one strategy you use we use it's uh, like you know the the blue post every single day we have an inspirational text with the date of the day for example we see like mm, okay. October, October. so it's like a meeting for people it's like uh, okay they know every day they're gonna have the inspirational text um and this is a this is a pretty interesting like strategy um, so the, the but goodness, the like 3,300 uh, likes on this. There's a lot of people that would love that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And we, we have now uh, like, yeah, like posts with 10,000, like 15,000 oh uh, likes. Our story, it's viewed by like... Uh, yeah, 25,000 right here. 
Yeah. So my this goodness. Is, this is a video. This is a, a concept to about like you know this video. People need to take a screenshot. When they take a screenshot of their phone, they're gonna see a sentence. You know, you, you have a lot of content. that's they such a cool idea. I've never even seen that on Instagram. So the watch time, it's pretty good. So it gives like some good indicator for the algorithm to Instagram. And we always try to like think about what Instagram wants, what YouTube wants, what LinkedIn wants. You know what I mean? To try to like create some posts uh, are really like uh, can be like yeah successful. So uh, on this account, for example, we post like four times a day. So this is this is wow. a, a lot of work to create this. But I have someone, <laughs> yeah. someone on my team like spend one day on the week, especially to create all of the content, and this, the, she schedules the whole week of the content for the next week. So she do this in uh, uh, in one day, and she really like create like really good content. Like people are really engaged about uh, our content. Like we receive a ton of comments and things every day, and so yeah, this is uh, forty five thousand likes on this one. Yeah. Wow. This is and it's the video again. Hey, just to, just for all uh, listeners, watchers, right here, we'll we'll play the game. Uh, I'll take a screenshot on my computer. <laughs> And let's see which one. Let's see which one we get. Drum roll. Ooh, and then you're gonna have to read it for us because I can't read French. <laughs> yeah, so this sentence it's I can I can accomplish like everything I want. There we go, everyone. Everyone <laughs> listening, watching, you can accomplish anything you want. Let's go. <laughs> so uh, that's how you, that's how you play the game. It's getting forty five thousand <laughs> views. That is so good. Are you retargeting these people? Are you are you running uh, paid ads? No, because, uh, for example, on this, uh, on this specific account, alors, first thing, this business, it's a marketplace. So we, tell, we take a really small, small percentage. So it's going to be like really difficult to like, um, uh, if we want to spend like uh, money on ads, it's going to be really difficult to have a good ROI. But on this account, just to give you an example, this last 30 days, like 100,000, person visit our profile and thousand people because if you go like uh, at the top of the profile yeah. there is uh, there is our link uh, so the link of the platform and there is thousand thousand people click on the link like this likes for example 30 day and we have two stories so we post a story with a call to action because you can put a link on the story and uh, mm. same so so you're, you're saying stories here right or yeah, no, 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 exactly. like here yeah exactly yeah yeah these are the highlights and the okay yeah yep, yeah yep. yeah okay. so yeah this is this is something like it, it, it's a huge difference if you have a business and you are able to create a community and i'm passionate about spirituality you know it's not just business for me or i create this before no the the, the person like creates the post she's passionate about this industry and because she really passionate about this. She can like, create some great content for people. Because mm. when you do this just to try to get some money or things, the content, uh, we're we going to feel this. And the content going to be like the same, like, you know, we, you know what I mean? So th th this is uh, something really important to, to create community. You really need to be like passionate about your message, about like the things you, you want to share. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Being connected and passionate about yourself. If you're doing it just for money, people are going to feel that. And do we ever like or consume and uh, go that direction? No, like we go towards, we go towards the good stuff like ourselves. Right. So um, if uh, you're not going that direction, then your, your prospects probably won't either. I love it. This is, this is really insightful. This is really helpful. Um, so you're, you're just uh, organically driving, you know, lots of creating lots of attention through being genuine, yeah. doing uh, things that you like, you're driving that traffic towards your site, towards your products and services, and um, and and there's a whole sense of community, of following that that comes along with that. That's really powerful. I, I appreciate you sharing that all today. Um, yeah, yeah. Is there any other, um, you know, maybe like other tips or uh, recommendations, last words you want to add about uh, community? I start today. 
start today mm. because <laughs> the thing is there is not uh, the best moment or the best day to start. And when I uh, was I, I I share like before, it's gonna be hard to 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 start. And I know this because I try like different things. And when you you create, I don't know, it can be a podcast tomorrow. And if you have like five person listening new podcast yeah it's gonna be hard at the beginning for sure but the thing is you're gonna learn on the process and it's gonna be better and better and so yeah uh, start start now and find the good platform for you because so many people are gonna talk about the social media you know for example now so many people talk about tiktok imagine so tiktok is good but tiktok it's maybe not good for you at all. So don't go on mm. TikTok if your customer is not on TikTok. So choose the best platform. And it's uh, it's difficult at the beginning to be everywhere. Everywhere. You you can be everywhere when you start to have a community and start to have uh, people to work on your community too. If you just start, uh, try to focus on the platform and test different things because so- social media, the good thing is with social media, you can test. Like tomorrow you can post like, 10 different posts uh, on uh, Instagram, put uh, 10 different video and just try different concepts, different things. Um, and uh, you're going to do a, a lot of mistakes, but this is fine. This is, uh, nobody going to see your mistakes. So this is fine. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, um, and wh- when you share a pretty good message with people with authenticity, like, they're going to naturally come to you in terms of business when they want to work, when they want to work with uh, someone. And this is a, a really good thing for this community. Well, I wanted to draw, as we kind of uh, conclude here, I wanted to draw kind of that, uh, you know, comparison, talk through, you know, like the French market compared to the North American market, because you've spent time in both. We, t- we spent, uh, you know, a good amount of time talking about content. And this content's really being distributed, you know, across the world, although because it's in French, I imagine, you know, all, you know, most, if not all of your, your followers are French in your words, your perspective, having the experience in both markets, what would you say from a content and sales perspective? What's the big, what are some of the similarities? What are some of the differences? Um, for example, like if we talk about like marketing, sales, etc., there is a lot of strategies are going to come like in U S and they're going to come, in France, like three years, four, four years or five years after. Um, right. Oh, so there's a delay. Yeah, exactly. So me, for example, I uh, listen a lot of content on the English market because I, I have so many inspiration from so many like people and I can able to translate this in my market. Mm. This is a kind of, uh, I, I can find because I work too on the SaaS business and software, I can find like what kind of software uh, is current. It have a huge result now on the English market, and the probability uh, it's gonna be the same on the French market. It's really it. high every time. It's it's really high. So this is yeah, this is a good thing. Um, a really good so- thing. Is there another, so for all of some, uh, you know, Americans, Canadians, and uh, uh, is there a way we can go to a different market that's ahead of the U.S. market? <laughs> yeah, so. uh, yeah. Uh, actually, e- even in the French market, there is some uh, innovators, there is some people uh, have uh, like really great idea. And they, you know, tomorrow, for example, I try something on my sh- social media. The result is like huge, really huge. If you take this specific strategy and I mm. about to translate new business, the probability uh, for you is going to be huge. It's 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 pretty the same. Uh, so, for example, the video you saw uh, just before when there is a, you need to take the screenshot. I don't yeah. have this idea. I saw this idea, you know. Um, and we create after something specific around this idea. So we not just copy paste something. We trade right, the, right, right, the, right. the concept of the idea. For example, in terms of sales, one day I create a specific funnel of sales with three, three, uh, three single video with a specific kind of sequences. The result was really, really great. If someone, uh, uh, one company takes the exact same strategy like three months after, and they have a really great result too. So it's not uh, in terms of country, I think so, or, 
or language or whatever. When you see like someone, someone or something or a strategy working really well online, just look at it. And uh, yeah, try to listen people to have the result you want. Because um, the thing is, uh, uh, there is so many way to, there is so many like content online and sometimes it's difficult to like follow everything. So try to find the people have the result you want and duplicate the strategy. Like it's something uh, bring me, um, yeah, a lot. Of I love it. Find what works and then and then go, you know, in your own words, own way, make it. For example, the video with the screenshot one that you're just, ex you're saying like you saw that somewhere, made your version of it. Anyone listening, watching to this, um, can take that same concept. And if you're talking about business, if you're talking about relationships, if you're talking about health, you know, you'd have the health quote or business, you know, or leadership quote for the day and then have that, that video cycle, take the screenshot. That could be something that, that could be applied. Very, very good. Anthony, I really appreciate the time. And My pleasure. The, the last thing I can share, yes, it's, uh, please. this example, for example, I know my English, it's far from perfect. And I know I do a lot of mistakes when I speak, but I do this exercise because I know I'm going to be better and better on this exercise. So you don't care about the perfection. Just do it. Uh, and yeah, just like do what you want and it's going to get better. And my English is going to get better one day. <laughs> I love it. You're saying it doesn't have to be perfect. Just do it. Well, if just do it works for you and it works for Nike, then everyone, we all should be just doing it and making it happen. Anthony, huge, huge respect. Your English, like, dude, mass respect. You're speaking a whole nother language, uh, you know, and I'm, you probably know what, three, four languages too, huh? No. Just uh, two? French and English. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. O only two. Well, that's yeah. one more than I know. I I still struggle to speak English. <laughs> it's my native yeah. language. I have mass respect for you taking the time you uh, uh, today. And uh, everyone watching, listening, sales, fill, sales centers, Flowchat fam, thank you for listening, watching, spending your time with us on the Spotlight Series. We're finding real people getting real results on the front line, just like you, like me, being an entrepreneur can be lonely, but it doesn't have to be. And this is a, a safe place to come and uh, listen to all us other fellow crazy people trying to solve problems and make the world a better place. Appreciate, appreciate y'all. We'll see you next time. Thank you.